بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد إن شاء الله we'll be discussing we've discussed in the previous part uh, in this uh, about uh, morals and the virtues of the heart now we'll be discussing about these limbs and the eyes and the hands and the legs and the stomach and others the way it disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it says ma'asi al-jawarih wa amma ma'asi al-jawarihi fa ma'asi al-batni mithlu akl riba what a bad thing that a stomach can do is eating riba consuming <coughs> riba riba is one of the major sins in Islam and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Allah subhanahu wa taala has advised believers to be keeping so far away from riba because life is very short. A mu'min should be planning his day to day. You can plan living in this dunya as if you're going to live forever, but you have to plan for your akhirah as if you are departing today. So, wa ma'asi lisani. وَمَعَاصِلْ جَوَارِحِ An example فَمَعَاصِلْ بَطْنِ مِثْلُ أَكْلِ الرِّبَى Eating riba وَشُرْبِ كُلِّ مُسْكِرٍ And drinking anything that is intoxicant that will make you lose your brain An example is alcohol or anything else that you will lose your senses Therefore it is uh, you are committing a sin if you do it and also wa akli mal yatimi so in the same stomach you can use it to fill the stomach with money which is consumed or which is earned through riba you'll be getting a lot of sins or taking drinks which will intoxicate the body you will get sins and also eating uh, the money uh, that are from orphans their wealth an example their father passed away and you start making the most of that money for those children because they have no one to look after you are one of the uncles or his dad's brother or you you are responsible and you start eating that money Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has completely forbidden that he said a person who does that eat the orphans money he says is as if they are eating pieces of fire alladhina yaakuluna riba la no uh, those who, uh, who eat the orphans money inma yaakuluna fi butunihim nara allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they are eating fire wa sayaslawna sa'ira on the day of judgment he shall be put in a sa'ir is uh, a hell fire also and also وَكُلُّ مَا حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ مِنَ الْمَأْكُولَةَ and anything and everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram to be eaten for example pigs and anything else that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made haram والمشروبات and any drinks whoever was to, to be eating riba or drinking intoxicants or eating orphans wealth or anything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has uh, said that this is haram an example uh, we said is a pig therefore will be getting sins and allah subhanahu says waqad la'ana allah wa rasuluhu akil riba allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger have cast he has the casting of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophet whoever eats riba and brothers life is very short you do not need the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do not need the curse of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, a person who eats riba, uh, the sins are almost divided into 73 parts and the minor one is like having sex with your own mother. And the major one is like standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are prepared to fight him standing in front of Allah and telling him let's fight and see who will win you will always lose therefore my brother riba Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said 
stay away from it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can make you millionaire if he wants you don't have to live in debt you do not have because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants you to be concentrating in your amals in your salat in your quran he doesn't want you to be stressed uh, this money that money this one i borrowed this one i take i've taken this one to bother yourself even while you are praying you will be so stressful you will not even remember what you are saying in your salat and you will be living stressful life allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows he is the creator of this body he knows what is good for it and he knows what is bad for it therefore if he, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told you stop refrain from doing this therefore it is in your benefit and if allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells you to do this na Uh, then it is in your also in your benefit then he says woman aana ala akrihi elva was to help someone to eat riba na is also cast whoever helps in his conception he's also cast by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cast by the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and also he says wala ana sharib al khamri allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cast somebody who drink alcohol ومن اعان على شربها ان هو ever helps in drinking it an example the driver who takes it the person who sells it the person who makes it all of them have the cursing of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala حتى البائع لها even the one who is selling it also will get the curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وتعاونوا على البر والتقوى help one another in doing good and ولا تتع... ولا تعاونوا على الاثم والعدوان do not help one another in committing sins or causing animosity or being enemy uh, to others you should not help one another in uh, committing bad things so my brothers it is very very important that we remember in this part of the sins of the stomach is anything that you eat anything that you drink in a haram way one of the major one uh, the, the two of the major three of the major things that we've mentioned that can go in your stomach that it is haram is riba and then uh, eating the wealth of yatima uh, the orphans and then the third one is drinking any intoxicant uh, an example is alcohol uh, we have spoken about the sins of the stomach now inshallah we're going to concentrate on the sins which are committed by the tongue and he says wa ma'asil lisani kathira the sins committed through the tongue are quite a lot mith aydan mithlu al-ghibati an example is backbiting wa hiya dhikruka akhaka al-muslim bima yakrah to mention something about your muslim brother uh, for something that he does not like in his absence or in his presence if you say something to make fun of somebody and people laugh at him and or even uh, to backbite him then it is haram one of the major sins uh, and also wa in kunta sadiqan even if you are telling um, uh, true even what you are saying if it is true then still you shouldn't be making fun of one another because the creator is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for example to say so and so is uh, a liar so and so is short so and so is this so and so even if he has that problem you have backbitten him therefore you should avoid uh, looking down in, in, to people uh, so he says the wal kadhibi wa namimati slender taking words from one person to the other with an intention that those people fight is one of the major sins and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said la yadkhulu al-jannata namam janna shall not enter somebody who slender uh, take words from one muslim to the other from one person to the other with an intention that those, those people fight you are the reasons for two muslims not to speak to one another allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't like it Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said inna al mu'minuna ikhwa the believers are brothers so if you are the reason to break that brotherhood you will be committing a major sin and that sin is committed through your tongue 
and also <coughs> he says wal kadhibi lying a mu'min a believer doesn't lie even uh, making uh, jokes of lies it is important not to make uh, not to lie because this tongue Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed you with it it is a small piece of meat but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed it it can speak so many languages it can test food it can know what uh, this is sugar this is a uh, salt it can do so many things it can recite the quran remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so many things but with the same tongue you can use it the opposite way to commit sins for example you start backbiting people you start lying you start slandering uh, namima uh, and all other sins which are committed by the uh, the tongue therefore we should be keeping far away from it he says was and also insults insulting somebody and was sabbu was sub abusing abuse and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said whoever believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last day he said he should speak goodness or otherwise keep silent if you have something good to say say it otherwise keep something uh, keep um, your, your tongue silent you shouldn't be speaking because know that you have two angels who are fully there uh, who are writing each and everything and everything you'll be held accountable in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment therefore it is very important to refrain and make sure that you do not just let free this tongue to say what it wants because it could be the reason for you to enter jahannam the hellfire wal ayyadu billah therefore the sahabas of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam what they used to do is put a piece of stone within their mouth uh, fearing that this tongue might say something that uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, will lead this person uh, go into jahannam wal ayyadu billah therefore they put a piece of stone and take it out and speak and then put it back so the and also a sub abuse the kind of abuse uh, he says uh, the ulama when they explained he said speaking about somebody's honor negatively or uh, uh, sub it can be painful insult insulting something somebody uh, with something that can cause them pain and wallani uh, cursing somebody wa ghayriha cursing somebody to curse you this you that the other and everything so my brothers the the, the tongue so today we've spoken about um, the, the stomach and the sins that it can commit alhamdulillah my brothers the stomach is a big name of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it digests food while you're sleeping a lot of time you see machines when they dig- breaking things or when they're making things there's so much noise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put a liver which is a small machine that digest all the food inside the, the 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 stomach and your own stomach as a storage also uh the digestion take place there but you sh- you never hear any noises and everything you sleep in peace you eat food whatever kind of food it is separated there the best one is kept the rest is um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made a way for it to get out of it and you can eat and enjoy so many things with your stomach make sure what you eat is halal life is very short you might be doing something that is haram maybe you've only got 30 days to live you are accumulating so much wealth in a haram way and you have 30 days all you do is when you are born you are born with nothing and when you will depart this dunya you will depart with this uh, from this dunya with nothing empty handed but the, you came with no sins you will be living with a lot of sins if you depart uh, if you've done something that is haram therefore it is very important to use the na'ma the 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 the, the, the virtues and the blessings of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the right way of not eating what is haram fi allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sometimes I said one month sometimes you could have 24 hours 
that you have in this world you will not believe but if the doctor tells you you have 30 days to live you start um, praying you start doing this that is a doctor but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophets are telling you prepare yourself life is very short you could easily go everyone shall test death but we are so busy with it we are committing sins we will say when I become 80 when I become 70 I will go to Hajj and then I'll ask for forgiveness what if you don't make even 80 days from now should fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so the sins of the tongue we said you should use your tongue in the right way to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, recite the Quran talk um, uh, to others in a, in a beautiful manner and invite others towards Islam and uh, use your tongue to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instead of backbiting uh, swearing at people lying and uh, namima slender or cursing people inshallah those are the, the two major sins of the, the two of the sins of the eyes uh, of the the tongue of the stomach and the tongue next time inshallah we we'll look uh, at the sins of the eyes and the ears inshallah and the hands the legs and the whole body inshallah then we would have finished this uh, beautiful book.